another special edition of the Memorial Rundown. We'll be bringing you some of the latest news across our system as we continue to work through the COVID-19 pandemic. Memorial Healthcare System is experiencing a surge in COVID-19 patients like other hospital systems across the state, particularly in South Florida. In his message this week, Memorial CEO Aurelio Fernandez said he believes the surge is related to the state reopening a few weeks ago. At the same time, Mr. Fernandez emphasized that Memorial is prepared for an increase in patients and that stringent safety measures continue to take place throughout the system. That includes testing more employees and physicians. In the meantime, Memorial continues to perform its services. At Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, neurosurgeons perform the first epilepsy surgery ever at the hospital, while the kidney team performed a pediatric kidney transplant just a few days later. Speaking of Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital, U.S. News and World Report has ranked the Children's Hospital among the top 50 in the nation for orthopedics and cardiology and heart surgery. In the publication's latest ranking, Joe DiMaggio Children's Hospital is once again the number one children's hospital for pediatric orthopedics in Florida and among the 25 best in the U.S. It's also ranked among the top 50 in the nation for its cardiology and heart surgery. The rankings are based on patient outcomes, clinical resources, and utilization of best practices. Congratulations to all. Congratulations are also in order to the 50 new residents joining the ranks of Memorial this week. The new residents went through orientation and will be working alongside their colleagues as the system navigates through the pandemic. To date, our graduate medical education department has up to 130 residents in nine different specialties.